is part two of our textbook, Preparing Goals. So today we're going to look at preparing your goal. And it's important to introduce this very basic idea of negotiation, which I think most people kind of overlook, but it's key to success in negotiation. And that is setting a goal. In other words, what do you want? What do you want? Now, when we think of negotiation, we often think about it in general terms. When I buy something at the night market and I want to negotiate, I want to bargain, what do I do? I ask for a lower price. So let's say that the thing I'm buying is $100. And now what do I want? I want lower. Well, how much lower? Well, 99 is better than 100. 95 is better than 99. 90 is better than 95. Of course, ultimately, you would like to have it for free, for zero, wouldn't you? Is that possible? Of course, it's not possible. So when you don't have a goal, you're just thinking in a very general terms. I want to get something more. I want to get something better. Certainly, you've had that experience where you bargain, where you negotiate to buy something, and you say, well, I want the price to be lower, or can you give me something? And then they give you something for free. So you're going to buy a keyboard maybe from the computer store and you say oh the price is too high can you cut the price can you lower the price and they say no but we'll give you this USB and you say oh wonderful I got a free USB but of course you go home and you have like 100 USBs at home this is completely useless but you got something for free so you feel good so this is a way companies actually use in marketing to help consumers feel they've gotten something for free, but the, co the company doesn't really pay or, or it doesn't really cost anything significant to the company. It's a way to fool you into thinking you got something, you got a bargain, you kind of negotiated, even though in reality you didn't because did you really need a USB? What's the value of that to you? The USB memory stick was the value about zero because you already have so many of them. So. Without a goal, you're just kind of randomly thinking, oh, well, I just want something better. I just want something more. More importantly, it's hard to know, did you succeed in your negotiation or did you fail? And that is really important for business because as a business student, you've studied before, we need to have that feedback loop. I need to set goals. I need to execute. I need to then see how far did I miss my goals and then cycle back and change again and try again and keep this cycle going of feedback and adjustment. If you don't do that, how can your business succeed or move forward? How do you judge if you're doing better or worse than before? So that's very important. Let's look here at the book, this very, very core idea of negotiation, which is setting the goal. Now, in our RPG, we're going to be talking about price, we're going to be talking about shipping, and of course, you always want to have, what, a lower price, of course. You always want to have faster shipping, of course. You always want to have higher quality products if you're the buyer, don't you? Of course, if you're working somewhere, you would always like to have higher pay. I don't know anyone who tells me, my pay is too much, I need to get less pay. So everybody always wants to get more, right? Of course, the problem here is how do you judge your success or your failure? So we're going to look at this introduction as helping us understand we need to set goals. We need to be clear. Being clear is better than being unclear. So how do we define this? Do we say it's winning? Is that how we say that? Because that's the way a lot of people talk about negotiation. They say, I'm a winner. Everybody else is a lo loser. Or I win, you lose. So I'm winning. I, did, I got more than you did, so I win. Let's look at an example of this. Let's say Nancy. Let's say that Nancy wants to get a bicycle. She's living in the USA and she wants to buy a bicycle. And she goes and she finds this bike for $150. And she negotiates, she bargains, she haggles, and she gets the price down to $100. And wow, that's a really nice reduction. That's like a one-third reduction down to 100. That's great. So she should be happy, right? So she goes home and she feels like, yeah, I'm a winner. I got that price down. And then she tells her friend, she says, hey, I got this great deal. I'm a great negotiator. 
I bought this $150 bike, but I got it for $100. And then her friend Ted tells her, tells Nancy, says, oh, you know what? I bought that same bike, that same model for $75. And Nancy's like, what? I paid $100 and you got it for $75? I must be a loser. I must be a loser. So wait a second. Nancy just had a moment where she was a winner and now she's a loser. That seems really odd. How is that possible? She still has the same bike. Remember, she still has the same bicycle. She's going to use the bicycle for the same things. It's, it, nothing changed. So what did change? Well, her goal changed. In specifically, in this case, she has no goal. So she just thinks 150 bargain. Okay, negotiate. Well, one 100 is better than 150. Therefore, I must be okay. And then she finds out Ted got it for 75. 75 is better than 100. So that's even better. But she's not thinking what was her goal. What is she getting from this? What is the value of this bike to her? Okay. And remember, they can be different values, right? If I buy a bicycle and I need my bicycle because once in a while I like to ride my bike around town, then it's just kind of fun. But if you buy a bicycle because you need your bicycle to go to work and every day you have to ride a bicycle 10 minutes across campus to get to work, you need your bicycle. So of course your bicycle should be more valuable to you than my bicycle is to me. Even though we may buy a bicycle at the same price, yours actually has more value. So if the price was different, who would pay more? You would pay more because you think it has more value. So in this kind of situation, it's very clear. Nothing changed. It's the same bicycle. There's too many things here we don't know. What is the value of this bicycle to Nancy? Does she need to use it? Does she want to use it just for fun? And what is the value of this bicycle to Ted? Now, of course, you could argue. You could say, well, if they both use the bicycle for the same reason, then obviously she paid more. Nancy paid 100, Ted paid 75, so he got a better deal. He is more of a winner than she is. And I guess that's kind of true, but are their goals exactly the same? That's really hard to say. Even people who are using it for the same reasons have different, can have different goals. And then how much money does Nancy have in the bank? And how much money does Ted have? I mean, if Nancy has lots of money and $25 more is not a big deal to her, then maybe it makes no difference. So this is important to understand. In one moment, Nancy is a winner. In the next moment, Ted's the winner and Nancy feels like a loser. And how many times has that happened to you where you think you got something good and you find out somebody else got something and now you feel like a real loser? I was so stupid, why didn't I bargain more? Or how about the time where you go to negotiate, you go to buy something and maybe you're gonna buy it and it costs $100 and you say, uh, okay, I'll pay you 85. And then the salesperson says, oh, okay, 85. And right away you go, oh, how could I be so stupid? They agreed too fast. I should have said 75, right? You got what you asked for. Why now do you feel bad about it? Okay, so the point here is business is got, has to be more objective. You have to make business more clear than your personal life. And in fact, you would be good to do this in your personal life too. You need to make your goals very clear, especially in a business context. You need to make your goals easy to understand and you need to have a good reason or rationale why you have these goals, what's going on with these goals. If your goal is $10 per unit, you need to share that with your team because when you're in business, you're not doing things all alone and you need to let your team understand why is it at that $10. If the price that you're offered is $10.50, then you need to understand how is that different from 10 and what does that mean and how can that difference be overcome and how important is that 50 cents to your company. So we need to move away from general goals. We need to move away from saying something is just more is better. I get more is better or I pay less is better. We need to move away from that and we need to move into this idea of I have a specific goal. I'm going to try to get my goal and the closer I get to my goal the better. So a better goal may be for your, like uh, this example here, pay. I go to work and of course everybody wants to have a pay raise. Everybody wants more money, right? So what do you do? You tell your boss, I want more money. Of course, what's your boss going to think? What do you mean more? 
and then maybe your boss gives you 5% more. And then you feel, hey, that was stupid. I should have asked for 6%. He agreed to 5%. Why did I only ask for 5%? So before you go in and ask for the raise, what do you need to do? You need to think clearly. What is it you want? Do you want a 20% raise? If you want a 20% raise, make that clear. If you want a 15% raise, make that clear. You need to re be really clear about that. So if you make it the 20% raise, but then your boss only gives you 10, now you know you made it halfway from zero to 20, you made it halfway, so you have 50% success rate on your goal. And then later you can go back when you make other goals and try to understand what did I do wrong or how can I adjust that to get closer to 100%. Maybe my goal was not realistic. So the basic point of this chapter is something that most business people understand and people with business experience understand, but I think that lots of times we're just so busy doing our business, we're so busy living our lives, we don't plan. And the first part of planning in negotiation is what is your goal? What is it you want? Thank you.